I'm so sauce queen sun in this video. <laughs> Just sour cream every other bite. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, welcome to a big random plate of what I'm coining chicken parmenaise. Believe it or not, this is just a bunch of shit I had to use up uh, before I go grocery shopping to clean things out, to clean house a little bit. But um, yeah, it's like a bolognese sauce, like a meatball marinara sauce that I had that I just broke down the meatballs in. And then like this chicken cutlet aspect of it, also things that I pre-made in the freezer that I needed to use up. But we'll talk about that as we eat this and uh, I know you're thinking it's a little bit crazy. I know some of you are like, oh my God, you sour creamed it and all that shit. I promise you, it's very delicious. <laughs> I already know this is going to be absolutely banger. And uh, I know it's crazy that I left the pepperoncinis in like a full bite format as well. But there is good reason for that. So I just carefully picked the stems off the pepperoncini to where the inside juices didn't spill. So each one of these bites of pepperoncinis is packed with the juice that shall squirt in thy mouth. But look at this. That is a perfect everything bite. Cheese, sour cream, crispy piece of chicken, and a whole pepperoncini. If I can get my mouth around this, I know she's going to be really, really good. incredible amazing so yeah I definitely like to use up kind of things that are lingering in my house before I go to do a new load of groceries and I had these noodles are from a box of Flamin' Hot Cheetos Mac and Cheese. But I lost all interest in actually eating them as Flamin' Hot Cheetos Mac and Cheese. So I was just like, okay, I'll use up the noodles. With this meatballs and marinara sauce that I had in the freezer but it was time like just to clear everything out and these chicken colors are from uh i just buy like a pack and i scallopini them and then i make like pre-breaded my own chicken cutlets and then freeze them So 
so I can just pull them on like a per needed basis. Grab one, one or two cutlets. Fry it up real quick in some shallow oil. And uh, toss it in a wrap or whatever I'm going to use it for. Mm. Those pepperoncini bites are where it's at. I don't know, this thing's like, a, it's almost like a lasagna. <laughs> Meets bolognese, meets chicken parm. Whatever it is, it's good. Pull it pop break. <laughs> you like see those meatball chunks in there, right? Mm. Maybe I'll spin it around to the fresh angle. I don't know about you guys, but a big old plate of pasta is definitely one of the hardest foods to just actually just crush a whole big plate of pasta. It's so, I don't know how People can eat a ton, ton of pasta. Mm, missed it. random thing but the uh the fair is coming to town <laughs> we have a thing called the cle the canadian lakehead exhibition go into the act so they bring in all the rides the traveling carny circus and then they have like the gambling games and all the win your stuffed animal games, but then they also have like the banging ass food cards. That's coming up next week. And I'm definitely jacked to go. I haven't been in so long, but um, I'm mainly jacked just for the food. I'll probably not really ride any rides. Maybe a couple depending but those rides are always very seemingly unsafe to me just because they build them and tear them down and build them and tear them down <laughs> so i wouldn't want to go on a super risky one but maybe like tilt the whirl or <laughs> gravitron <laughs> if they still have those i don't even know The scary one used to be Ring of Fire. The one with like the ship too that goes pendulum style and it kind of hangs upside down. That one's pretty cool. But I only trust stationary amusement parks like Canada's Wonderland or Six Flags or Disneyland or places like that where like they're constantly maintained and they stay in one static position. <laughs> not getting loaded up on transports every other week where potentially drunk people or high people put them together. <laughs> I think it's almost guaranteed at a certain point that that prob probably happens. <clears throat> but I'm definitely down for a big fat corn dog these things that they call elephant ears. The 
it's like a thin yet fluffy and terra party fried dough and they're kind of shaped like all wonky and big like an elephant ear but it's just like cinnamon sugar dough and they're like they're they're crack i'm not even you know i'm not really the dessert guy but these things are crack and then i might play i like color game like i like uh some some of the gambling games there they're just kind of fun to mess about with but i wonder if after all these years there are any new rides like or if they just keep it with all the classics i'm so sauce queen sun in this video <laughs> just sour cream every other bite Jack to go to the fair haven't been in so long also i have a couple random way off topic little neurotic bones to pick with language i've noticed it mainly amongst americans but why do you guys say like whenever i was 16 or whenever i was in high school or whenever i got sick with isn't it just when i was 16 when i was in high school when i got sick with like why is it because whenever would imply that you don't like know when it happened <laughs> but you're saying the exact thing like whenever i was 17 i used to hook up with this girl and i'm so confused by it like why whenever i was isn't it just when i was 17 i hooked up with a girl <laughs> but i noticed it like on podcasts like theo vaughn does it a lot and just a lot of americans so it might just be a little more like a like a turn of phrase that's just embedded into their into their uh, vernacular Oh, it strips me out. And what else strips me out is like Michaela Peterson. And there's other people that do it, but when she'll be telling a story, and she'll say like, and mom was in the hospital and dad was, and I'm like, you're saying it like it's our mom or our father, like our dad. It's like, just say like when my mom, when my dad, right? Like possessive or no i just it's so weird when people talk about their parents like they're your parents too in in, the, in that context like i know they don't mean to imply that but in the context in which you are saying it like it does come off that way and it's weird just say like when my mom was in the hospital or when my, when my dad was uh, like well when mom was in the hospital Anyways, I'm getting sweaty and out of pocket. So we'll end this here because I'm so full. So we'll go ahead and let's end this here on this bite. Because I'm so full, but that's a pretty fair attempt at a fat plate of pasta. Definitely feeling super delicious. Um, like I said, random idea, throw it together, looked in my fridge, freezer, saw what I had. And this is what came to be. And it's delicious. I cannot lie. Very, very good. All right. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good. Live well. Go to the fair if it's coming to your town. <laughs> Stay true.